You know, <laughs> I decided that I look like Adele from behind her eyes and not Javier Bardem from No Country for Old Men. Let's roll the intro. Hello everyone, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel Mooney Reads where I talk about books and things. And today I decided that I'm gonna take you on a journey, darling. I'm gonna take you on a trip. But not that kind of trip because that's not legal and we don't do illegal things on this channel. What I'm gonna take you on a journey of is the books that I'm currently kind of reading. <laughs> I like you saw in my last wrap up this year has not been the year of reading for me this year has been the year of DNFing and kind of not reading. I'm working a lot I'm doing a lot of things outside <laughs> of the reading sphere so I just haven't been able to read but I have been able to start books and I just don't finish them so I just wanted to make this video to let you know what books I'm reading what books you're probably gonna see in wrap-ups coming up and yeah basically just what books I'm in the middle of so let's get started the first book that I want to talk about is Kings of the Wilds by um, what's your name Nicholas Eames <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's just that I'm reading this in audiobook because I, I bought it before my no buy year. So Kings of the Wild is basically the story of a bunch of old men that um, used to be heroes. It, they, like they're D&D they're &D heroes, you know? And they just um, are old now, they're married, they have kids, but one of them, his kid um, goes to a raid of a of a city it goes all wrong and he wants to either go find her bring her home or bury his daughter and he's asking the band to get back together in order to do this some of them are really happy to some of them are not what I will say is that every character in this book is so compelling. This is probably the book that I'm going to finish the soon the the soonest. Is that a word? The soonest? I think so. The soonest or the, you know, yeah, the soonest. God damn it, that's a word. Sometimes as an English teacher, I just amuse myself. But anyway, this is the book that I'm probably going to finish the fastest because I'm enjoying it so much. And it's been a while since I've been enjoying a book this much. Um, I love the characters as somebody who plays D&D who has been playing D&D since she was like 15 years old um, I really appreciate each and every one of these characters and I just I'm really loving it Of course, I know that this daughter is alive. Sorry, my cat has decided to enter the frame <laughs> Of course, I know the daughter is alive. You learn this pretty early on in the book and also there is a sequel with her name on it so you know you, you, you kind of get the point. Okay, my cat wants to be in frame. Say hello, boo-boo. Say hello, boo-boo. The next one that I'm reading in an audiobook is My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. Now, I'm kind of, I would say, 10% into this book, and I'm really enjoying it. It's just that I just have no time. This is the problem. I have no time to read. And the thing is, I've been reading audiobooks to fall asleep at night, so I just have to go back constantly to where I was before and I know that you can put the sleep mode on but I always think like I'm gonna be awake for 30 minutes and it's like yeah you're awake for three minutes of this book <laughs> so I just need to learn to put it less but then if I put it less I stay awake because I'm like oh it's gonna be so short anyway that's not the problem this book is basically about two young girls that meet they become best friends and I think one of them eventually um uh has to be exercised I don't know because I I'm in the middle of it um, I love Grady Hendrix's writing. I think he has this way of doing funny but scary and so far the book hasn't been anything scary. It's been more like um, just the girls becoming friends and I think it's really sweet the way they become friends and, and how they deal with being kids. It just it brought me back to when I was a kid because even though this is based in the 80s and I was born in 87 so I really didn't get to live the 80s um, I still, you know, I saw E.T. and I was obsessed with E.T. and all of this so it's just a lot of fun and I just think that I'm, in, I'm gonna enjoy it I just... I just have to read it <laughs> <laughs> All right, next are physical books. Now the first one I have here is Middle Game by Shauna Wire. I was reading this as an audiobook and the same thing kept happening. I kept falling asleep. I kept falling asleep whenever I just whenever I read it. So I got like 3 pages in, I guess. But I really want to read this book. I really 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 want to read this book. So I think this is going to be the book that 
I read physically. I don't know, next, I don't know, I don't know, because I have so many down here, but I really want to read this book. I think this is right up my alley. I think that this book, this book is about twins who were separated at birth, I believe. One of them is named Roger, one of them is, one of them is named Dodger, and they have super, like, abilities. One of them has ability with languages and the other one has ability with anything to do with mathematics. And if they come together, they become, I guess, a god or something? I don't know. But I just think it's that kind of weird that I like. And I like anything to do with twins separated at birth that have to come back together. Like, that sounds super cool. Um, I must admit that at the beginning, the, the introduction wasn't something that I was really enjoy enjoying, but yeah, actually I am 50 pages in. I just I just checked. I'm 50 pages in. Let's see when I get to it. Let's see. Let's see if you see it in a wrap up anytime soon. The next book I have is The Chrysalids by John Widom. Now I have talked about this book ad nauseum because I've tried to read it 10,000 times, and it's such a short book. Like I if if I like really tried, I could read this in a day. I could totally read this on a day, but no. Oh, I mean, also, what day? Like, what day? <laughs> I work even on Saturdays, so don't even be like, Monica, you could read it on a Saturday. And then on the Sunday, I have to do a bunch of things for the house and, you know, spend time with my husband because I have one of those. But anyway, um, this the, the Chrysalids is the story about a world where otherness or unusualness are blasphemies. Little do the father's protagonist knows that his son and his son's cousin are aberrations. They're aberrations, that's what they're called. So basically, um, one of them has psionic dreams and one of them has six toes, I believe, or six, yeah, six toes because they can hide it. And basically, this is the story of a bunch of uh, uh, children getting together. They either have to flee or they have to fight. So this is a very typical sci-fi story, and I think I'm going to love it. I just have to sit down and read it. I really need some free time. I think this summer is going to be the summer where I read because um, it's when I don't teach. <laughs> The next book is the first book that I started reading this year. I actually started reading this book last year. You would think that I'd be done with it by now, but that is Kill Creek by Scott Thomas. And I am 110 pages into this, which makes me so angry because I'm so close to the end. I'm only 200 pages, 250 pages from the end. So why the fuck am I not reading it? Honestly, again, I have no time, but uh, you're done. yeah. I sound like a broken record. I have no time. But anyway, this book is about a bunch of horror authors and these horror authors are gonna go spend a night uh, or a night, a night and a day. Yeah, like two days and one night at this house where something horrible happened. It's kind of an urban legend house and this is being paid by this. Oh, I just noted the two little figures at the top. Oh my God. Oh, that's scary. Um, and this is being paid by this millionaire who runs a website about horror. This book sounds amazing and it so far it's okay. It, I hate the description of women in this book though. Like if you want good, like if you want to read a book about somebody that's clearly just sees women as objects of sexual pleasure, then read this book. But otherwise, don't. But I just want to know what happens. Like, I'm invested in the story, so... Yeah. I Kill Creek. <laughs> what, what, what else can I say? I, I got nothing else to I got nothing for ya. Alright, the next book, I said I wasn't gonna read it, but I did want to... Like, if I'm gonna own it, I might as well just try to read it. And that is Misery by Stephen King. Now, if you saw... What... Well, what was it? I did have a video where I mentioned that I wasn't going to read this, but I don't remember what it was. I'll link it up here. But here's the thing. I want to read it. I want to read it just because I don't want to own a book that I'm never going to read. I, I think I mentioned this in books. That, oh, yeah. It was in the all of the books that I haven't read. Yes. So, um... I kind of want to read it, but then again, I've heard that it's just basically torture porn. So, I don't know. Um... I read a little bit of it. I was reading it an audiobook on my commute to work, which my commute is the 15 minutes I spend walking to work. So it's not a lot, 
but I was reading it and um, was it interesting? Kind of, but not really, so I don't know. We'll see if I read it. By the way, this book is about an author and he is taken captive by his number one fan. And his number one fan wants him to write the conclusion to or or like the sequel to a book that she really loves but no nothing that he writes is good enough and she keeps him like doped and like drugged and she like hurts him and breaks his ankles according to the movie but yeah although that's this would be a good book to movie adaptation project you don't watch those but i don't care i'm gonna keep making them anyway and the last book that i haven't given up on yet but that I might give up on is The Year of the Witching by Alexis Henderson. Now, I I don't know what this book is about really. I just I started reading it. I start I went into it knowing nothing about it, which is how I like to go into my books. But yeah, um so far it's a little bit too YA-ish for me, which I mean it is a YA book, so um, it's about a girl whose mother became pregnant when she went out into the forest and she's like an outcast in this very, very cultish society. And yeah, I got about, I would say, 10% into this. And then I stopped last year and I haven't picked it up again. So yeah, those are all the books that I am in the middle of that I haven't given up on. Some of them I'm really excited to read, some of them I'm not so excited to read, but I kind of want to read them all just to just read them, just to be able to like, huh, you know, say I did it. So yeah, if you've read any of these, please let me know down below if you like them or not. And if you made it this far, please leave a black heart or just a heart in general to let me know that you're here. Leave a like, subscribe, or do neither or do nothing or do whatever it is that you desire in your little heart. And yeah, without anything left to say in this video where I've said absolutely nothing of importance <laughs> except that I work too much, I will leave you with a reminder that I post videos every Mondays, Wednesdays, and and Fridays and that I appreciate each and every single one of you and that I'll see you in another galaxy far far away. Bye!